Welcome to our first vlog, which is our cabin review on our very first Virgin Voyage. So today I'm going to take you around our central sea terrace so on the back of your door just shows all the evacuation details that you need and to the left when you walk in just behind this wardrobe hanging area are your light switches and underneath is where you can tell your cabin steward whether you want your room made up or you want to relax so behind here you get hanging space and then above you've got room if you need to put some small cases up then below you have these shelves and they give you two baskets. I'm using one elsewhere in the cabin, but they're quite handy to put a few bits and pieces in. So just moving across here and then in your wardrobe, you've got your life jackets, further shelves, you've got your safe and four drawers. And you've also got a mirror on the back of the door which is always good to check yourself out moving into the cabin you've got hangers for your coats and this is like the dressing area where they replenish with water or sparkling water each day just let them know what you want glasses and you've got a small fridge here i've got nothing in there couple little cubby holes there and your light this is your pad that you use you can use it to close the curtains change the television see what's going on around the ship so it's really good to get using that when you come on board you can get a paper copy like this which you can pick up around the ship if you prefer your paper you can bring on one bottle of wine per adult so the, there's two there which as i'm not a wine drinker mike will drink both of them and you've got your mirror moving on to this side of the cabin a further full length mirror and this chair which i thought doesn't look very comfortable it's absolutely really nice and comfy really like that you've got this table which fits under the bed so if you want to eat in bed or just have a drink at the side of the bed you can use that now because they have this low drawer which you can use for storage as well your electrics have to come from this plug here so we bought an extension lead which as you can see comes across and i've utilized one of the baskets from the wardrobe to make it a bit higher so it's actually on level with my bed to save me bending down some nice things on the bed he's left us nice big telly there's not a great deal on there in television channels you know the news from around the world america and there's movies but i think the lighting's good in the cabin you get different kinds of lighting so we'll move on now open these up we're almost to Amsterdam, maybe an hour or two out. Um, it has brightened up since this morning, which was very, very cloudy and rainy. It's looking a little bit brighter. So on your balcony, get a couple of these chairs and a table, and then the world famous hammock. So it spends more time than it really is. Yeah, but on a full night, and there's just so much else to do, isn't there? As you can see, it's still a bit cloudy. Oh, it's nice it's warm you have to have the door closed and locked to have the aircon working inside so unless you've got that down your aircon doesn't work so i think in sunnier climbs that's something you're going to have to keep doing to keep your room down here you've got american and usb charging points and you've got this big arm of the chair and this wooden platform that moves up and down 
do you think it's good because if you're having a drink you don't want to put it on the fabric here and as i say the bed is massive dead comfy it's come in and done it all for us today so i think it's a really nice cabin surprise because i wasn't liking the pictures of the cabins but now i'm here it really does feel nice and homely and i've just spotted another thing on the top of um the wardrobe there they also provide a nice blanket so if you want to sit outside on your balcony so as we come to the bathroom you've got your light switches here and you've got your your air conditioning which you just pop up and down yourself go into the bathroom i've seen on youtube etc the bathrooms are small yeah when i first come in i thought oh yeah it is small but it's not been a problem been enough space so you've got your loo there as ever you've got some little shelves there to put some of your bits and pieces on and good to see the makeup towels here you know people like my daughter taking their makeup off it is good them going on the lovely white towels you've got a sink and space underneath to use go into the shower we've got their body wash conditioner and hair shampoo which is always good if you don't want to bring your own we've got a beautiful rain ball shower which is really strong and powerful and it's really great the only thing i don't like is the handheld shower sometimes i get a shower and i don't wash my hair so in this case you have to put the shower back on the hook they haven't got one where it just goes over you at a lower level so for me that's a bit of a a no-no all in all i think it's a really lovely cabin let us know in the comments below what you think of it or just anything to do with this cabin at all thank you for watching if you haven't already subscribed if you please can do so it is free it doesn't cost you anything but it just helps us and the algorithm on youtube to get our video out to more people so thank you very much for that and if you have liked the video please give us a thumbs up as well